Hello, hello everybody, DTX720 here, and we are back with another episode of Pokemon Sword. We are right here in front of the Rose Bowl Stadium. I don't think it's called the Bowl, but it's the Rose Stadium. And we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna talk to freaking Hoppity Hop over here, Froggy Frog, Hoppity Hop. Froggy! Man, that was a big cat reference from Sonic Adventure. What of it? <laughs> Anyways, we are about to get checked in, and I think we're fighting against Mr. Champion Leon. I think this is the biggest battle of our career right now. I don't know if... I don't know if, if Leon... I don't know if this is the battle for Leon, but they keep saying this is the finals. Pretty sure this is where we fight Leon. I'm ready. Oh, look at all these guys. It's all of them. They're all here. All the gym leaders. The memories. The memories. Oh, they're all gonna give me advice. Let's talk to all of them just to be... Just to be kinda symbolic. <laughs> Whew. Dang, I fought all these people, man. This is crazy. Wow, it's cool how you can like kind of see all their personalities here. <laughs> Who is gay? <laughs> yes, this is so cool having them all in the same place. Oh my goodness. Let's just take a second. Whew. Let's take a breather for a minute, guys. Are you guys ready for this? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's, let's think. Everybody's healed up. Who do we want to lead in with against the champion? You know what? I think it is. It'd be poetic here if we let in with Rillaboom. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna lead lead in with Hatterene because a lot of the times the first turn in battle people want to set up. If I could set up Hatterene. You know what I mean. Let's go in. This might be a bad idea, but I'm ready. We're gonna lead off with Hatterene. We're gonna give ourselves a challenge, which is a big risk against Leon. Big, big risk. But <sighs> we're ready. Let's go, guys. My goodness. This is a huge moment. Oh. Oh my god, listen to the music. The chairman is tired. Oh god, I've been missing it. I've been too focused on music. Oh gosh. Time has come for the battle until the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to save the finals. Match begins. Oh my god. Wait, you. Huh? <gasps> Who's that? It's Bead! A moment, if I may. Does anyone have ev here ever remember me? I am Bead, the challenger. Who the challenger who is forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bead! I have a score to settle with DTX here. I'm aware against the, the rules nonetheless. Let me battle him. Oh, okay, so he wants to battle me. On an unexpected turn of events, former Challenger Bead has come from one last battle. He is currently debating Challenger Bead. You know what? I'll battle him. I'll give you a shot, man. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I have something to say. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was o Oleana who asked me to gather the wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman, he disowned me. And then a strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into his boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea on what I've gone through? Covered in pink? <laughs> Dealing with battles and quits with fairy Pokemon every day? And I'm here, pouring my heart out to you. When I've even lost my cool before. 
We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen, who's accepted the challenge? Hey, hey, I didn't agree to this. Dude, all right, let's do it. My will has, hasn't has been broken yet. All right, man, let's do this. I was actually really looking forward to, uh, to fighting the champion today, and you're kind of ruining my steez, man. Challenge by gym leader, Bead. Oh, yeah, he is the gym leader. He, he took over. He took over from, uh... From the other lady, from the Opal. How lovely. But now I regret my decision of putting Hannah Rainey first. But hey. Ma Wild is a steel type, which I believe hurts fairy types, I believe. Yes. I believe steel hurts fairies. I believe it does. Yeah, it does. Hmm. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna run. Run for the fences, man. Go back in the center school. Which I've already fought a Mawile, so I know it'll die from from a fire lash from Center Scorch, because those guys in the elevator we fought in the last episode, they they had all steel types and some of them had Mawiles and Yeah. Yeah, so that iron head would have really hurt Hatterene. Ooh, and it was a crit. That would have killed Hatterene. That would have killed her. That would have destroyed Hatterene. <laughs> Bat. You gotta smack you. Smack you. <laughs> Get out of here. He can send a face palm right to his face with the fiery lash, man. Ta! Hit him right in the nostril. Or her. Hit her right in the nostril. Guard of War, eh? I'll stay in. Why not? Guard of War's a psychic type. I can handle it. Oof. Oof. How come it was only effective and not super effective? Is the fairy is the fairy typing like resistant to uh resistant to the moves the psychic types are weak to? Other than dark, of course. Ooh, don't kill! There you go, stay alive! You can do it, Santa Scorch, we're killer! Kill her! Yes, good job my friend. And you landed a crit. I love you, thank you. Beautiful creature, you. I love you. I love you. So much. Thank you. Toxtricity is now level 58. We're almost all level 60, guys. Rapidash, eh? And okay, now I'm gonna run. Or should I run? You know what? We're gonna stay in. And just let Cinescorch die. You know, free switch out. Even though I had a free switch out just then, but hopefully we're faster than the horse. We might not be faster than the horse, though. Damn it, we weren't faster than the horse. <laughs> the horse. The horse. So it was all for nothing. All right. Well, that was a terrible idea. Hmm. Let's see. Who would be a good Pokemon to send in right now? Against the house. House. Let's go in a Dreadnought. Because he does have Crunch. I could have went in Toxtricity, but. Psychic moves hurt Poison, but then Poison hurts Fairy, so. It would have been iffy. This is also iffy, though, so. Ooh, that did decent, though. That did decent, because uh, I think Psychic is the main type here. Dazzling Gleam. It didn't do much. But it still hurt. Now you will die. Ah, uh -huh. floor store, eh? <clears throat> Can you get a crit with this, uh, with this crunch, Dredna? Good girl. Please get a, get a crunch, girl. Yes! Did you get a crit? I swear, if you got a crit, I love you so much. Or you just killed it that time. No, you didn't get a crit. It's going to Toxel. I mean, Toxtricity. Just because why not? Even though he is sending out a Hatterene, but... We have a Hatterene of our own, don't we, guys? Yes, we do. We should have done a Hatterene show-off. Hmm, maybe this might not be smart, because I think... Oh, you know what? He's gonna... He's gonna Dynamax this one, isn't he? I shuddered. Or she shuddered. Yeah, you should be scared. I'm gonna get that max ooze, bruh. <clears throat> I 
and I'm definitely going to be faster than you, so I think I might kill you before you have the chance. I'm 100% faster than you because I know from first hand, because I own one, and I use one on my team, that Hatterene is a slow, like snail slow, due to the elegance and grace of the witchiness. Yes, Gigantamax, the greatest pink. Well, I wouldn't say Gigantamax is the greatest pink. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, all right, calm down, there. calm down. Oof. Wow, look at that Gigantamax. That's amazing. But it may be short-lived. Ooh, it lived. Well, I said lived twice in a row. <laughs> Mindstorm. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh! Oh my god, it actually killed me before I killed it. Holy crap, that was actually impressive. I did not think that it was gonna be able to take my poison type move. I knew it was gonna hurt me because of the psychic typing. But man, I didn't think it was actually gonna live that. That was impressive. Um. Let's have Corviknight take the win. Corviknight's Steel Wing should put it out of its misery. It is Gigantamax though, so hopefully it doesn't like, tear my entire team apart. I'm still going to be fast in it though, unless it's Gigantamax stats made it better. No, it didn't. Alright, cool. Lucky us. Yeah. We did it. We did. Sorry, Bede, but today is not your redemption story. This is the story of DTX wins the championship. You've become a way better person, though, dude. I I love what you've become. You're not as much of an arrogant douche anymore. And you're... You look very nice. Already are more cute and such. Well, I lost. Looks like the challenger... It looks like the Challenger beat was no match for Challenger DTX. What? Don't retire, just restart your career. But this isn't what I had planned. <laughs> Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. <laughs> nah, man, just be the gym leader. I no choice but to continue my training as a fairy type jam leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. Yeah, you do that, man. That'd be so awesome. It's a great redemption story for you, man. <clears throat> Finals are about to begin. Alright, well, am I get did I get healed? Was I healed? I was healed. Okay. All right, let's go. Getting right back into it. Holy crap, I think we're fighting Leon now, unless there's more surprises up their sleeve. Let's take a deep breath. Let's go. I'm ready. And this is cocky and arrogant, but I am ready to become the champion. Here comes D T A. Oh. Oh wait. Oh, I actually have to fight the the gym leaders all over again. Holy crap! I actually was not aware of this. For some reason, I thought I was just gonna fight fight him, but I guess this is like the Elite Four kind of, huh? Nice. Let's do it. All right, Nessa. How many battles are there? Is there? So I fought him. Am I going to have to fight these guys? It's going to be a whole five. Galissapod. Had a Rene. Interesting. May not have been a, a, a terribly great decision to start with Had a Rene again. Nice. Okay. Um... Hmm. 
Yeah, not smart. I'm gonna have to get the uh, free switch out here. And I'm gonna go to Corviknight. Because Corviknight will mess, mess him up. Because he's a water and a bug type. Glisspot is a really cool Pokemon, just by design-wise. And I used it in my playthroughs of uh, Sun and Moon. Specifically, Pokemon Sun. But, hi graciously freaking uh i hate glitzpod's ability man it annoys me so goddamn much just the wimp out ability you know the escape ability is so terrible i hate it <clears throat> i guess a lot of people like it in some ways because you can use it in really effective ways but i hate what it does it like annoys me because sometimes when you could like kill somebody and they hit you really hard like you can't do anything about it. <laughs> We're gonna stay in with Corviknight. Corviknight will still hurt Barrascuta. Two degree. Eh. Won't hurt it too much. Let's you turn out actually. Cause yeah, he's gonna hurt us. But we wanna save Corviknight. We don't wanna just blow through him. Cause if this is like other Pokemon games and this is like the Elite Four, then <coughs> excuse me. Then we're gonna have to fight them all in a row. <clears throat> My voice, like, just gave up. Holy crap, okay. Let's go into Toxtricity. She is a water type. So, we have water types pretty goddamn covered. We have Toxtricity, we have Rillaboom, you know. Who has Drill Run, though? Ooh! He was prepared. My gosh. He was prepared for me. Persecuta was prepared for me. Ooh, and now we're gonna have to watch out and make sure we're faster than them, because otherwise they're gonna kill. Oof. Oh, I do have the Black Sludge, though. Okay, Seeking. Keep in. I. Are we gonna be faster than a Seeking? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Seeking might be faster than us. Ooh, let's hope. Yes, we are. Okay. Jeez. Please kill. That Sea King is actually a Sea Queen because it's a female. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess a woman could be a king as well, but usually they're queens. But hey, you know, if you wanna if you wanna be a queen, you go ahead. Oh god, here comes a toilet bird. We can definitely handle a toilet bird with toxicity. Toxtricity will fry a toilet bird. Hey, uh, hey, ma'am, uh, do you need your uh, your toilet fixed? We're we really gonna make it drizzle and like you're gonna power up her next Pokemon. That's literally the only reason why you're out here is to give the next Pokemon a little bit of a boost. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for leveling. Yes, you keep healing, Toxtricity. Dreadnought. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to switch out. Just to save some HP here. To save save some health on Toxtricity. And go into Rillaboom, because Rillaboom will destroy him. Oh, no! Oh, gosh! I clicked on Dreadnought. Oh my god. Uh, god damn it. I thought I clicked on Rillaboom. What the hell was I doing? Oh man, why did I do this? I did not mean to do this. Crap, I did not mean to do this. Ooh, this is not going to be good, but I have to do it. Okay. Ugh. Gosh. not good she's literally get she's getting a free shot on me right now this is not good god damn it please live I hope she doesn't have ice fang just like I do I hope, I hope she hasn't taught her ice fang because if she taught it ice fang he's gonna kill me please don't know ice fang please don't know ice moves please don't know ice moves oh gosh Rockfall. I'm gonna survive a rockfall, I'm pretty sure. 
It was whoever I fall. Okay. 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 Question is, is Rillaboom faster than a Dreadnought? I don't know. Is he faster than Dreadnought? Oh god, it's gonna come down to if he's faster than Dreadnought. And Dreadnought is fast for a turtle. Snapping turtles move pretty quick. Oh man. Please, Rillaboom. Please be first. I'm so nervous that my, my stomach has the grumblies. I can feel it in my jellies. Yes! Thank you, Rillaboom. Kill it, please, kill it! Yes! Oh, thank. Thank the heavens. Get this thing out of here. Get this thing out of here. It has exploded. Gojira is dead. My goodness. Whew. We did it. Ah, she's still angry. <laughs> still upset, aren't you? Still upset. <laughs> Give me the handshake and get out of here. Are you gonna still are you gonna shake my hand even though uh What are you talking about? Stop talking about my girl. Stop talking about Sonya. Second battle will begin shortly. Okay, so B moved on, Ryan moved on, and Piers moved on. So I'm gonna have to fight B and then Probably Ryan again, right? Okay, so it looks like I'm fighting B next. So... Hmm. We're gonna lead with... Well, Hadarane is actually a good lead. I think this time it'll actually work if we lead with her, so let's go. <laughs> Come on, Hannah Renee, don't fail me. Depending on what Pokemon she has leading, I hope she doesn't have something that can hurt Psychic types leading, because goddammit. Looks like it's going to be against B, and I hope... Not, not B, what's her name? Yeah, her name's B, is it? Isn't it? Her name's B. Yeah. Why did I... B and Bead. That's why I got confused, because their names are very similar. B and Bead. I promise you, my attacks will shake you. Okay. It's interesting. This is like a tournament. It's pretty interesting. It's neat. Gym Leader B. You're challenged by Gym Leader B. Gym Leader B sends out Halucha! You know what? Halucha, that's a, that's a cool Pokemon to have on your team. I like it. Is Halucha going to use any moves that are going to boost it at all? Should I take the risk or shouldn't I, guys? F it. Let's do it. Okay, I shouldn't have done it. Wait. No, it was a good idea. Because... I used Calm Mind. Let's just hope that bounce doesn't hurt us too badly. I just got a boost from Calm Mind. And he used Bounce. So I got a free one. Is Bounce a fighting type move? Oof, okay. It hurt a little bit. But Psychic is now going to kill you. Goodbye. Now the question is, hopefully we can outspeed some stuff. Because <laughs> otherwise, if we can't outspeed it, then it's not going to work out for us. Depending if it has coverage. Surf Edge Day. Eh? Stay in. 
Sir Fetch is probably gonna be faster than this, and hopefully. Hopefully, we can still kill it. Hopefully, it doesn't. Okay, no Leaf Blade. No, no, no! Okay, whew. Ooh, and I got a crit too with its freaking big leak. Kill it, please kill it. Get it out of here. That thing is a travesty and dangerous to us. Okay. Thank you. You did a lot. You did a lot of things, lady. Who are you sending it now? Grapple lock. We're gonna keep in and we're gonna heal up and kind of scout. If Grapple Lock has anything that's gonna hurt us, we'll know and we'll switch. Let's go in our bag. It's a full restore. Heal up. There we go. Mega Punch. Okay, we can live another Mega Punch if that's what she hits us with. She doesn't have coverage because we don't know what she has, but she hit us with Mega Punch and she had a wide open shot. So, to the CPU stupid. <laughs> or whatever, you know what I mean. But let's do it. How do I, oh, I outsped it anyway. Nice. Surprisingly, I outsped the Grapple Oct. Grapple Oct must not have very good speed at all. The little squiddy squid doesn't have fast tentacles. At least an octopus. Squid. Phalanx, eh? Phalanx could hurt us. Is Phalanx a steel type? I feel like it has to be a steel type because of its weird, like, armor. But then I feel like it's just a pure fighting type. I don't think it's steel type. Whatever. He used bulk up. That was a terrible idea. Well, actually, you might live because if you get a bit of a defense rise you might live but I actually did boost my stats so maybe not because I did have calm mind up yep I used calm mind I could have gotten another calm mind right there if I would have known you were gonna bulk up but I wanted to be safe because you might be a steel type I don't think you're steel type I think phalanx is purely fighting but it looks like he could be a steel type so who knows I'm a champ we're gonna stay in on my champ She's gonna Gigantamax this guy. We've seen it before. Yep, you're gonna Gigantamax this homeboy. Or homegirl, actually. The homegirl. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna, gonna mind storm the hell out of you. Gonna get that mind storm. I'm pretty sure, though, he did have a move that really messed up Hatterani last time. I don't think. I don't think Hatterene was the one who took it. And yet again, that could have been because Hatterene might not have been evolved when we fought B last time. But anyways, this, hopefully this is redemption. Hopefully whatever move that was last time didn't doesn't kill us this time again. If I remember that right, I'm pretty sure something like that happened. Last time we fought B, like something happened like that. I was like, whoa, how did that fighting type kill a psychic? Like, when they're weak to it, you know, like blah, blah, blah. It's because it was faster and it had a coverage move, but hopefully that's not the case now. Okay, just normal max strike. It's a normal type move. Didn't do much. Raised my speed, lowered my speed a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Because <laughs> my speed's already garbage. And it's dead in one hit. The redemption story. Yes. And we got a mind like God. Ooh, blow your mind! It's going to blow your mind! It's gonna blow your mind! The killer queen! That's a reference to a, a queen song known as Killer Queen. Listen to Queen, people. Go out there and listen to Queen music. Queen is gods of rock some of the gods of rock thank you for the match I appreciate it 
like it. I like your sportsmanship, thank you. You're really tough on the outside, but I bet you're really soft on the inside. You're probably a sweetheart. I knew it was going to be Ryan. Alright. Facing off against Ryan. And Ryan was a challenge last time, so this is not going to be any different. Sorry, DTX. Yeah, I know. It's all right, man. I'm okay with fighting off against Ryan again. It'll be a nice challenge. And it's poetic, because Ryan keeps saying, Oh, I'm the, I'm the closest thing, blah, 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 to fighting the champion. But nah, this time he's going to come up in third place. Well, actually, in a tournament, there's no, no really such thing as third place, but we're going to reassess our situation. Ryan has dragon types, or he's supposed to have dragon types. But what Ryan had last time was he had two Pokemon that weren't even dragon types. So we take that in consideration. We don't really have too great of an answer for dragon types. I mean, like, what do we have that can fight dragons? Is poison strong? No. We have, okay, so we have, we have, we have her. We have Heterene, who I know psychic hurts very. I mean dragons. Blah, blah, blah. And then we have Dreadnought, who has Ice Fang, because Ice hurts dragons. And then Dragon Moves also hurt dragons, but we do not have Dragon Move. So, based on that, we have our coverage for our dragons right here. When it comes to, I believe he has two ground Pokemon and a rock Pokemon, we have those covered as well. So we should be able to fight Ryan... Don't know if he's going to lead with a dragon first or or one of his other weird Pokemon that he has. Or maybe he changed his team. I don't know. But everybody else seemed to have the same kind of team but with some more additions. <sighs> you know who's going to be the best bet? Dreadnought. Dreadnought is going to be the best bet. Dreadnought is going to be the best bet because of one reason, one reason only. If he does not send in a dragon type, if he doesn't send in a dragon type, then we have that covered. And if he sends in a dragon type, we're still okay and we have it covered. So, Dreadnought is a good choice. And it's too late already anyway. We're already into it. There's no way we could back out now. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. I remember you're an asshole. <laughs> oh, let me just stand here and be condescending and, and have my phone in my hand and, you know, text and take selfies and all that jazz. Even though I do like your sweater. I was talking trash about him, but he has a cool sweater. I'd like to own that in real life. That jacket's pretty dope. I don't know if I really like the abs that are on it, but uh, I like the cool, like, dragon mouth around it. Oracle? You see what I mean? That's not a dragon type. Hey, it was a good thing we had Dreadnought with us. Because Dreadnought will, will destroy this Torkoal. Turtle versus Turtle here. My Turtle is way faster than your Turtle. And it's also... Uh... Yeah, the sunlight is harsh. Thanks, man. Like, I'm still going to be able to hurt you. Liquidation's still going to mess you up pretty bad. You have good defense, though. Do give you that. Ooh. Put up a drought. Oh no. It's gonna hit me with solar beam. Oh my goodness, it has solar beam. Oh no! Oh no, Dreadnought's dead. Holy crap, and I was talking that crap. Oh my god, Dreadnought was one of Oh no. Oh no. That is not good. That's not good at all. Oh man. Oh no, that is not good. Okay, well. My next answer is gonna be to go into Toxtricity and hit a really strong Boom Burst. And hope that it kills. It might not because he's, oh my God, his defense is crazy, but a Punk Rock Boom Burst sh should hurt him. Yeah, there you go. It killed. Alright. And it was a crit. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Toxtricity. 
I love you. Okay, now who are we gonna send out? Flygon, okay. Dang, Dreadnought. Oh, we really need a Dreadnought for this fight. I'm gonna go into Rillaboom, because Rillaboom can hurt uh, Flygon with the uh, ground moves. He'll hurt him. He's a ground type, Flygon is ground. Flygon is a ground type. He will be hurt by the grass type moves. It's weird that his name is Flygon, but uh, he's a ground type. <laughs> so the drum moves. The wood moves should hurt. The drum beating move should hurt. Ooh, it hurt a little bit. It didn't hurt as much as it should have. It's taking up a sandstorm now. Ryan has all the plans with the weather. All kinds of weathery plans. It's nice and all. Like, I hate that though. You're like doing damage to us now. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Alright. Okay. Hey, Rillaboom reached level 60. Look at that. Nice. Alright. Turtinator, eh? It's not good for me. So I better switch out. Turtinator. Hmm. Man, Dreadnought, you would have been like, I really need you right now. We're staying in, and we're going to do something super risky. He's going to kill us right now. He's definitely going to kill us right now with the fire type move. But we're going to do this. We're going to go into our bag. We need to heal up. Dreadnought. Dreadnought is fully alive now because we used the max revive. Sunny day. Okay. Okay. Wasn't smart on your part. Is he going to have solar beam too? He used sunny day. He might have solar beam too. Oh god. Oh man. Is he going to have solar beam? Oh god. I really have to think about my situation. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, I don't want to. 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 I'm gonna U turn. Um. Are you turning out to somebody else? And we're gonna... Um... Oh gosh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Dude, can you guys tell that I'm super stalling because I'm terrified? Oh my goodness. What am I supposed to do? Oh, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm so scared. I don't know. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Is he going to know it? I'm so scared. Mm, whatever, let's go into it. Come on, please don't have another solar beam. I swear. Shell tap. Okay. Oh my god, that still hurt. That was a crit. That was bogus, man. I'm gonna heal up. Because that was a crit, so I don't think he was intentionally gonna do that much damage. No, not a hyper potion. Max potion. Okay. Dragon Pulse. How much is Dragon Pulse gonna do? Oh god. Okay. I can live another Dragon Pulse as long as he doesn't hit a crit. I can live another Dragon Pulse as long as he doesn't hit a crit. Rock Tomb is, is it's telling me it's super effective. I'm doing Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb. Kill it. Kill it. No. No. Oh gosh. Please. Please live with Dragon Pulse. Dreadnought, I beg you. 
Dreadnought, please. Don't get a crit. Oh, Dreadnought, thanks. Thank you, Dreadnought, so much. Okay, kill it. Kill it now. Kill it with fire. <laughs> well, not kill it with fire. It, it is fire, but you know what I meant. Put, kill the fire with rocks <laughs> is the better analogy here. Oh, man. Okay. Get, yeah, get that sunlight out of here. We don't need that no more. Gudra. Okay. Gudra. Gudra. I don't know. Oh gosh, I don't know. We were right though, and we were actually wrong, is what I should say about, um... I think Gudra... A lot of people run thunder on Gudra. We're gonna stay in. Gudra's gonna kill us. I know for damn sure he's gonna have thunder. He's gonna kill us. He is gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us. But we're gonna ice bang it. Let's see if we can kill him before he kills us. No! Oh no! Oh, he avoided it and then he hit us with thunder. That's bull crap. Come on, man. Oh my god, thank you so much, Dreadnought. Dreadnought lived. Dreadnought. Dreadnought, you son of a gun. Please don't miss this. Please don't miss this. Ice Fang. Please kill it. Please kill it. Please kill it. Please kill it. Yes! Oh my god, Dreadnought. You are a champion. See this? This right here, people. Oh my god. This is the reason why you raise your Pokemon's happiness and friendship. It's for reasons just like this. Oh man. Lunge. I think lunge is a really good move actually for you. Yeah, it is. All right, you're forgetting bug bite and you're learning lunge. It's a better bug move for Santa Scorch. Okay, we're sitting on Duraludon now. I think I'm getting out of here because I have one HP. Well, actually, if I have one HP, I might as well stay in and just get a free Ice Fang before he kills me. Or maybe, uh, yeah, because he's gonna hurt me because he's a steel type and I'm a rock type. He's gonna fucking, he's gonna hurt me. Let's get a free ice fang though. It's not even gonna be super effective because of his ice typing. I mean, his steel typing. Ugh! Come on, man. I hate you. I hate you. Taking your selfies and junk. I hate you so much. Skyscraper! Oof. The skyscraper. Yeah, there you go. How'd you like them apples? <laughs> How'd you like them apples, boyo? And yeah, Max Knuckle. Oh my god. Boom! Okay, so we now know that he, uh... Wait, what? Oh my god. Dreadnought. You're a champion. Dreadnought didn't get touched. <laughs> oh my god, Dreadnought. You're a monster. Do another ice fang. <laughs> there you go, Dread. Good job. Oh, you froze it. Dreadnought. Oh my god, Dreadnought. You are a freaking champion. Dreadnought. You are a champion among... Oh my goodness, you're a champ. You are a champ. Oh my god, is uh, against all the odds, is Dreadnought gonna do this? Oh my goodness. Wait. Was that three turns? I don't think that was three turns. That's weird. Oh my god. Against all odds, Dreadnought won. When that should not have happened, he got, oh my god, the luckiest crap ever. Living at one HP because of the scouting. Because of the friendship and the happiness. And then, due to the friendship and happiness, he also avoided that max knuckle attack with one HP. Oh my goodness. And then... And then he froze him with an ice fang. Oh! That was, that was like beautiful. That was an amazing play. Like holy crap. <laughs> Man.
Man. I'm doing it. I'm gonna face the champion. I've done it. Going to the final round against Leon. Man. It's finally here. Yeah, you will be cheering me on. I'm ready, man. I don't even want to talk to you. I like how you got Inteleon with you, though. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't agree more. So you better beat Lee, you hear me? Oh, you want me to beat your brother? Uh, you were t you've been hyping him up this whole time, and now you actually want me to beat him? I will. I will beat him. Get James Pond out of here. You and James Pond, meet me back at home. All right, everybody. DTX here. Again. For the last time in the end of this episode. This next episode. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry, guys. I'm really tired. What the hell? I was doing my intro. What? Man, I'm just mind blown, and I'm really tired because it's really late. I'm mind blown from that last play, like holy crap. In no no other parallel universe or world I, I should I have ever had a chance of winning that with Dreadnought. And somehow one HP somehow avoided the max knuckle from the skyscraper. Froze the skyscraper. And then for some reason it felt like it was three turns. I don't think it was. I think I think there's something that's going on with the whole energy of Dynamaxing here. It's weird. But he, he stopped being Dynamaxing, he went back to normal, and then we killed it with another freaking, we killed it with Crunch. Strong draw Crunch. That was like a play of the century. Pokemon play of the century. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit that like, comment, and subscribe if you want more from this channel and to support me going on in the future. We're about to fight off against the champion in the next episode, and we will become the champion. I promise you that, ladies and gentlemen. I have been DTX720. Stay tuned for the next one. I love you 3000. Have a good night.